Cowboy Bebop 444. This video is for you. And for anybody else that is using old system restore disk. I have right off the top of my mind it comes to me what is more than likely your problem. It isn't your BIOS. In order to rewrite your BIOS you have to flash it clean. Um, that's because it's read-only memory. ROM. Uh, and then you have to reinstall the BIOS and that's not something Windows 7 would have done might have updated your system uh, so, uh, hardware drivers but not your BIOS so what I have to ask is this now usually in computers that have restore disk you have a C drive and a D drive but what they do is they'll take a big C drive and they'll create an extended partition in that hard drive and create a logical hard drive called D for data. Now if you went in there and during the course of events of trying to reinstall everything from go to Windows, say go to Windows or back, in one of those steps, is it possible you might have deleted the C partition? If you deleted the C partition by mistake automatically, there goes your D uh, your, your CAB files that are in the data hard uh, section of the logical hard drive which would be D. That's the only way that you can lose it. Uh, even if you reformat C it will not touch the extended partition in D. Or maybe you by accident overwrote the D by mistake. I would uh, have, I, I need your response back on this, but I'm pretty sure, 99% sure, it has something to do with that particular issue right there. It's not your BIOS, believe me. Um, and most vendors that you take your computer to aren't like me. I guarantee what I do. And if I screw up somebody's stuff, I buy them the same equipment doesn't matter if it costs me a little bit more they get the same thing back that they came in the door and entrusted me with that was my practice when I was in business and that's the same standard I hold myself to this day even though I help people for free it doesn't matter I still take on the responsibility of fulfilling the trust people put in me so I need you to go into your computer and see if you've got the C and the D drive if you didn't have more than one drive before if you had more than one drive I'm, I'm looking for that one that's for data and it's got all cab files in it so I'll, I'll wait for your response on that if you have by accident deleted the D drive uh, no, you're never going to be able to use those restore disks again. Uh, you can use the XP, but um, the XP, you can only activate it 50 times. And then after that, you have to call the telephone support number. And in tomorrow, with the start of the, this coming month, I don't know if the, Microsoft is going to put this into practice then or later in the month. I don't have a date and I'm sorry. Um, I need to find that out. But as I came on and I posted before, Microsoft is going to end support for XP if it does not have minimum of Service Pack 2 installed on the computer already. So if you've got an XP installed disk that only has uh, say update 1 it's not going to do you any good. You're not going to be able to get updates from uh, Windows. And I kind of get caught up in things do it today. I, I'm wanting to call Microsoft Sales. I've got their number. And I want to see if there's some way I can get an open-ended licensed version of XP with Minimum Pack Service Pack 2 or even Service Pack 3 so I can use it with people's licenses, their PIDs that are included with their computers. Um, I might have to go to Augusta and uh, form myself as a nonprofit organization to qualify to do so, but hey, if that's what it takes, that's what it takes and that's what I'm going to do. 
I'm also thinking about getting a server and hosting videos and whatever data everybody has there. But this month, uh, as you know, I'm poor, and I got to do uh, I got to repair the exhaust on my car. I can't afford to have anyone else do it, so I got to get under there and do it myself. And 150 bucks plus minus a little bit, uh, that's a big chunk of my so-called disposable income, which I would use on household items that I got to use on the car. So uh, just give me a shout back on that. If you still got that data uh, partition hard drive, and if you don't, you've got your answer. It's because that restore information is no longer there. The upside to that is you have a bigger capacity hard drive. And uh, I know about the Max Tor, and also uh, the Western Digital also has the same tools. And there's Disk Manager does the same thing. Partition Magic 8.0 does the same thing. Uh, there's a lot of tools, but we're not. I'm not here to talk about the different tools. I'm here to address your issue. So just get back to me. Drop me a line. I'm going to be in and out as I'm doing laundry because I haven't done it in over a month. It's my last clean shirt and pants. So i got to do it right now before anybody else uh, gets their checks and crowds the laundry room out. Uh, I'll try to help you in any way I can. Uh, if you send me a message, I'll give you my own private home phone number, walk you through whatever steps you might need. Um, I've rebuilt computers uh, for people before who aren't here and bringing them to me. And uh, it's worked out good for everybody involved. Like I say, I don't charge. I do this because people have been nice to me in my past. And this is my way of honoring them and my God, my Creator. So it's all for them that I do this. So whatever problems you have, I'm more than willing to be there to help you for it and walk you through whatever steps it's necessary to get you whole again. Thank you, brother. Um, I'm fixing to go put my whites in. I'll be back in about 10 minutes, and I'll log back on and see if you've left a comment for me in my inbox. Like I say, man, whatever it takes, I'm there for you. But look at your partition. See if that D drive is still there in the normal conditions, normal computers. They would only have that one big hard drive in with the ex logical drive in the extended partition. They don't actually have two physical separate hard drives. So that might be what the issue is. All right, I'll uh, look forward to your message and I'll log back on when I get back from the laundry room. Peace, brother.